I'm gonna show you exactly how I made all these logo illustrations for Framer using Midjourney. First, I started with a logo render that I created in Cinema 4D, but you can also just start with a flat image of your logo and get similar results. Then I took it over to the Midjourney website, not Discord, and went to the new Edit tab. Here you can upload any image you want and start to mess with it like this beautiful photo of me. But for these logos, I went over to the retexture tab and started playing around with prompts like macro photography of ice, black background, studio photography of goldfish in a bowl, black background, studio photography of cake, fruit, lava, etc. But here's what's cool. If you get an interesting generation that gives you some new ideas, you can download that image from Midjourney and bring it back into the edit tab and start iterating off of that one. So with this kind of drippy one, I brought it back in and then tried to get some hanging icicles, which would have been hard with the original base image because right now Midjourney generally sticks really close to the source compositions. This is a more head-on angle that I played with, and I wound up getting this swirly frosting version. So then I used that as a base for other ideas like swirling black paint or leaves underwater. Lastly, everything you generate in Midjourney is gonna be better with personalization. For example, here's a simple prompt without personalization applied, and the same prompt with personalization applied. No additional prompting, no additional detail about what I want it to look like, it just looks better. If you haven't set up personalization yet, all you have to do is go to the personalization tab in Midjourney, click start teaching and rank at least 200 image pairs to get your own personalization code. By the way, this cool logo we've been playing with, it's for a no code website builder called Framer. It's basically like a full fledged design tool, except at the end of it all, you have a real website instead of a picture of a website that still has to get developed by someone else. Full transparency, I work there because it's awesome. I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, drop them below and let me know.